it's, uh, it's almost 10 and I am heading out to the library has opened and I have a book on hold there. The town that the library I like the most and that has my favorite grocery store also has a small bookstore that I just discovered right before the pandemic and I ordered a book from them. So they'll bring it out uh, outside and I'll pick it up that way on to get books. I have been listening to the new book, um, the audiobook version of Rodham. So the, the book about Hillary Rodham Clinton and what it would be like if she hadn't married Bill Clinton. I kind of feel like it's wrong to be reading this book. I don't know. But then I say, Susan, don't, I, I tend to take things way too seriously and I need to do that less. Like, it's just a book. All right, what about you guys? Are you, are you going to read this Rodham book? Uh, let me know in the comments. I am back home now and going to show you the books I got. So when I went to the library, um, so I really love this YouTube channel. It's Sarah at Hardcover Hearts. And she had recommended Anita Bruckner's um, Look at Me. So I got Look at Me on my Kindle and then I requested Hotel de Lac from, um, from the library. And it won the, uh, it's the winner of the, 1984 Booker Prize. So um, she suggested I read Look at Me first and then Hotel de Lac. So um, our reading taste, I don't think um, Sarah's and mine, I don't think there's much overlap or from what I've seen of her videos. Uh, I haven't read most of what she's read. So I'm excited to see um, I enjoy her videos regardless of whether our tastes are similar or not, um, but I'm curious to see because she really, she really enjoys this author. Okay, so the book I got at the bookstore, I'm hoping this, and it sounds like from what I'm hearing, I've heard about this book from two other people, this is going to be a don't judge a book by its cover. Beach Read. I would not normally pick up a book entitled Beach Read or with this cover. It just would not do anything for me. <laughs> uh, not that there's a time and place for beach reads, like on the beach. <laughs> and the last time I was at the beach, I was reading Jane Austen. So apparently I have not like perfected the beach read. But I'm not saying that I never read a beach read book. I do, but it's rare. But this one, from what people are saying, who's the author? Emily Henry. <laughs> This is Henry. Oh my gosh, and my other cat is Emily. <laughs> that just blew my mind for a second. From what I'm hearing about Beach Read, it, it's not some light little frolic of a book. And, um, oh, I forget who it was. I was watching her video. Um, I was so impressed with her review. I will, I'll put her name here up on the screen so you can check out her video. I'll link it below too. I'll need to go find it. Um, but she, she convinced me to give this one a try. And I think it's also the other place I heard it was on, um, the modern Mrs. Darcy summer reading guide. I don't know if you guys check that out, but, um, yeah. And both places, they say this book is not, is not what it sounds like. Now I'm going to talk to you later in the vlog when I don't have a cat laying on me about this book, which I am, I'm to there on, Virgil Wander by Leif Enger. So Leif Enger um, wrote Peace Like a River, which was a five-star book for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to make myself not talk about this now. I'll talk about it later when I'm up in my office or somewhere where I'm a little more comfortable than, you know, Henry digging his nails into my, my collarbone. So I started, Virgil Wander two days ago, I think. And um, I don't know where the story is going and I don't freaking care where the story is going. And I mean that in the best way. I am just enjoying every word, every sentence, every paragraph, the way he writes. I don't know about you guys. If you've read some Leaf Anger Enger, however you say his name, leave me some comments below. But his writing is right up my alley. Like, honestly, <laughs> I, like I said, things are going to happen in this book. I'm sure of it. I'm at page um, 179, and it's about 300 pages long. So things are going to happen. And when they do, 
I'm sure I'll enjoy that too. But right now, like, I almost just smile while I'm reading. In fact, maybe I do. Maybe I smile while I read, while I read this book. I'm going to be sad when it's over because I'm just loving, loving his words. Anyway, I'm probably going to stop filming for the night because, um, my energy level at 6.08 p.m. is ridiculously low, and I will, I'm just going to read until I go to sleep. Hello. I'd like to say good morning, but it's not. It's afternoon. It's almost one. <laughs> I haven't accomplished a lot today, but what I have accomplished, I'm super happy about. Zuzu got a bath this morning, so Zuzu's gotten her bath. That was accomplished. Um... Also, I made a decision about Rodham. It was just released uh, a couple days ago, I think. I got it the day it released. So that's the story of Hillary Rodham Clinton if she hadn't married Bill Clinton. And I just, I'm gonna DNF it. I, I wasn't that far in, maybe like an hour into it. And, and I told myself, it's just a book, no big deal. And if that's true, I, I totally wouldn't judge anyone who wants to read it or loves it or whatever. I just, I'm not comfortable with it. I feel like she's been put through enough. <laughs> not that she can't handle it, you know, if anyone can handle it, it's her. But it just wasn't making me happy. And the idea of um, continuing it wasn't make you know, it wasn't something I wanted to do. So I'm gonna DF and F Rodham. But anyway. What I'm most happy about accomplishing so far on this gorgeous Saturday is I finished Virgil Wander. I just, I just loved this book. I loved everything about it. I, I talked to you guys yesterday that I was loving each word. <laughs> I just really took my time reading it and just, it's not a page turn. You're not like, oh no, what's going to happen next? I got to know. I got to know. And you just fly through it. No, no. You just savor this one. Um, I just feel like this is like my kind of thing to a T. This five stars for me. Let me tell you what it's about. Our main character is Virgil Wander and he lives in a small northern cold Minnesota town. And he's lived there for years and years. He is the city clerk, but he also owns one of those old style movie theaters. Right off the bat, he gets into a horrible car accident right at the beginning. In his car, the roads are slick on a snowy night, goes over <laughs> into the water and he is saved and he's lost some of his, his verbal skills. He, he's not the same person. He'll say through the book, the previous tenant would blah, blah, blah. And he's talking about his previous self. In this small town, after Virgil's accident and he's, he, he's back home, he's in town one day and he meets Rune, who is a Norwegian older man who is flying kites. And boy, does this book make you want to get a kite. Rune has just found, he, he, he's come to Minnesota because he has just found out that he fathered a son years ago. He had come to the United States as a young man. He fell hard for a girl in Minnesota, um, but she basically told him, hey, you need to move on. <laughs> she, she was pregnant she didn't she never let him know and after she died he received a letter saying he had a son and that son lived in the same town as virgil and that son was dead he was an adult man he was out he um he loved to fly um you know, small aircraft and he took off one morning like 10 years earlier and um he never returned so his father comes over from Norway. His father comes over to try to find out, you know, and goes to this, his, his son's former hometown to try to find out what was his son like, because he didn't even know he had one. We have a, we have a big bad wolf in this book, and the supporting cast in this is excellent. They're delightful. <laughs> this is, this is so good. I'm just a, I mean, this book is full of just gems in his writing. Five stars in my book. Good 
Good morning. It is Sunday on this holiday weekend. I am going to start Beach Read today by Emily Henry and I will report back to you guys. Good morning. It is Monday, May 25th and I'm going to wrap up the vlog today by letting you know what I thought of Beach Read. I read this yesterday so it was a one day read for me throughout the day. I started it in the morning and then read it till I went to sleep, but I was doing thing, other things throughout the day. So it doesn't take long to read. Um, it's just over like 350 pages. Um, okay, I'm prefacing this with, I am in the minority. So if you were contemplating this book because of all the buzz, do not listen to me. But this just isn't my kind of book. I actually felt it was a beach read. And the reason I picked it up was because I, from how other people were reviewing it, I thought um, that it was gonna be something more poignant. To me, this was a light read. That's not what some of the other reviews were. I mean, yes, there are serious topics in there, but there has to be serious topics in every book. Um, it was definitely, to me, kind of a, a rom-com. I mean, there's a lot of witty banter, um, maybe a, not a ton of comedy other than the witty, witty banner, banter. And I did like some of that, but it's just, that's just not my preferred reading. And I had just finished the day before I started this, I had just finished Virgil Wander, which to me is, you know, that writing is, is just what I love and what really evokes some emotions from me. Whereas this, maybe I shouldn't have gone from Virgil Wander to this, but again, I am in the minority on this. If, you, <laughs> if you've been contemplating it and you like um, you know, romance books. Um, I, it's just not my thing and that's okay. Right? Like, or maybe had I read this in a different mood or not right after Virgil Wander, maybe I would have enjoyed it more, but the writing, I mean, she writes really well. And, um, what's pretty cool is it sounds like she lives where I'm from. <laughs> the back says she now spends most of her time in Cincinnati, Ohio, and the part of Kentucky just beneath it. And I am from the part of Kentucky just beneath Cincinnati, Ohio. So um, that's neat. And I, it, it's not that she doesn't write well. It's just the this kind of book is not my book. Boy, did I hedge on that so much. Um, but anyway, so today, um, what I think I'm gonna finish up is Mythos by Stephen Fry. I have mostly been listening to this on audiobook. So I have the book book and I have the audiobook. And I mean, Stephen Fry, if you're familiar, I mean, he's just so much fun listening to on the audiobook. Um, but it takes longer to get through the audiobook than to read. So I think I'm gonna finish this up today um, when I do start reading. I got a lot of chores I need to do. So I'll do that first. And I, I'm hoping to finish that tonight. And then I think um, to finish out the month, I want to do that Anita Bruckner book I was telling you about that I got on my Kindle, uh, Look at Me. So I think that'll probably wrap up my month of reading. But you guys, if you've made it this far in the vlog, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful and safe holiday weekend, and I will see you later. Bye.